Now, students, what if I have a situation where I'm multiplying square roots together? Well, that's no problem. But the first thing I need to do is I need to multiply all my square roots together. Then after I multiply the square roots together, then I want to simplify and break up my square roots into two square roots. One, square root, one set of square roots is rational where I can't find the square root of. And the other would be irrational square roots that I'll just leave alone. So the first thing I should do is I should multiply each square root separately. So let me write a big square root here. Now the first thing I want to do is I want to multiply the numbers 8 and 10 and I would have 80. Then I want to multiply the x's together. See I have 1x here and I'm multiplying 3x's here. So I'm multiplying 4x's total. Now I have my y's. I have 1y here and I'm multiplying 2 more y's here. So I'm multiplying 3y's total. So I'll be y to the third power. And here I have, I'm multiplying three z's, and I'm also multiplying one more z, and I'm multiplying four z's total, so that's z to the fourth power. See, now that I have that, now I can go ahead and I can break this up into two different square roots. So let's make let's put two square roots here. Both of them will be empty for now. And I want to break this up into square roots that I do know in my first into my first square root. Those would be rational. So let me think. If I think about numbers that divide into 80, I got two that could divide into 80, but that's not even a square root, so I won't even bother. I could divide 4 into 80, but that's really small. I could divide 16 into 80 because the square root of 16 is 4. Now let's see. If I divide 80 by 16, I would get 5. See, because 16 times 5 is 80. 16 I can find the square root of. 5 I can't. Looks like I'm in good shape. Now, remember my rule of exponents. If the exponent is even, you can find the square root of it. So since x to the fourth power is even, then I can just type x to the fourth power in my first square root. Now, y to the third power, that's odd. Now, if I remember how to do this correctly, I'm going to split this up into the next even power. The next even power would be 2. I don't, I don't want to go over 3. So I'll write y to the second power, and I need to write y in my second square root. See, because y to the second power times y is y to the third power. I can find what the square root of y to the second power. I can't find the square root of y to the third. So that's why I have to split them up. Now, z to the fourth power, that's even. So I can go ahead and I can just put the whole variable with its power in my first square root. Now I can simplify this. Okay. Let's copy this. This might make it a little easier. Okay, the square root of 16 is equal to 4. The square root of x to the fourth power, well, I just cut that in half. So x to the square root of x to the fourth power is x to the second. The square, I cut that exponent y to the second power in half, and that's y to the first power. Now, I don't have to put to the power of 1 if I don't want to. Either way is acceptable. I, in this case, I'll just leave it alone. And z to the fourth power, cut that in half from z to the fourth power to z to the second power. And the square root of 5y, well, you can't find the square root of 5, and you can't find the square root of y, and I'm done. Remember, you have to multiply everything in the square roots first, then you're going to have to break it up into two square roots. What, the first one will be rational, everything you can't find the square root of, and the second square root will be irrational, everything you can't find the square root of. Hope this helps.